guys welcome back well guys uh i love my skin color mm? that's why sometimes uh, when i use cream I, I see the reaction my my hands are getting black i somehow panic because i love my skin color i do not want anything that will change my skin color that is why if i am asking anybody to recommend any cream for me i will tell that person please i do not want to bleach please don't give me a, a, a bleaching cream and over the years i've used so many creams and uh, some of them are bad extremely bad that have stopped so i'm using one particular one for months now and it's really good on me then what is so wrong about being black and beautiful what is wrong about being that why is it that we nigerians we prefer we love we respect people we much more fair complex their skin is uh, fair uh should, should i call it okay let me use the word our our normal knowledge of it why do we love yellow people white people white skin color people respect them more than black skin color people so even Nigeria maria who may definitely do not know the origin of us nigerians is a nigeria who definitely do not have any connection to our origin. Well, this lady did an advert about a cream. And this particular concept they use in that video, of course, is even self-explanatory. It shows a really fair complexity woman moving around. And meanwhile, the other people who agree to be part of that video all have black skin and they were like saying wow surprise so some were able uh uh flabbergasted about the whole uh the whole girl walking around having this great skin even you put kids in that video as well disrespectful oh hey but say you don't go sell any product for that uh for that cream you guys will not sell any goddamn product and they applaud all of you guys not to buy the product from them because it's uh it's not right then this what this one is coming from sophia mamadu uh david first uh, baby mama she said so just to be clear a naturally light-skinned woman is walking through a crown of darker skinned people including children and they hold hooing and hiding at her beauty and this is to sell a bleaching product which literally has white in the name meanwhile the entire cast apart from the lead character are all naturally dark skinned people is this what we are going to teach our children in 2022 i don't think dark skinned people understand how beautiful they are your favorite light skin or do I say America celebrity tad constantly because they want your beauty. Dark skin children, women and men do not need to be brainwashed in wanting to change their skin color for anything at all. If Snow White was alive today, I can guarantee you that she will have a, a, a tiny appointment every Saturday just to get a piece of them made a uh, Melindia boo. Love the skin that you are in. God knew what he was doing when he created you. Bleachy cream. You, Seth, how will you go and buy bleachy cream? Maria. Maria is an uh, Afghan. How will you go and buy cream? Maria is advertising. That girl is naturally fair. You, that, I would see. Oh, God. Well, Thank you very much for Sophia for bringing that to our knowledge. I really appreciate her uh, with the words she wrote. Honestly, powerful words, Sophia Mamadou. Thank you very much. And uh, check this one out. This one is coming from uh, activist Asia. She said, the most mumuizi set of Nigerians are the ones in diaspora. The most mumuism sets of Nigerians. That means you guys in diaspora. You guys the mumu where we according to Asia. The most mumuism. Mumuish, so 
sorry, the most Mumuish saint as Mumuism set of Nigerians are the ones in diaspora. Many of them glaunt they have es escaped but are imprisoned by the need of those of us left in Nigeria. They work themselves to the bones to transfer millions back to Nigeria. They contribute economically but can't vote. You will see that sense. I know some of you will be angry. Ah, ah come out at the cause, boom, boom, now. But the honest truth is that you said you have escaped, right? It's good. You said you have escaped, right? But at the end of the day, in your heart, you are yearning to come back. And you cannot vote. You will see the sense in that? Well, then uh, I saw what uh, Tundu DK wrote the, uh, yesterday. Tundu DK just lost a mom. So our general sympathy goes to Tundu DK. And this is what she wrote. She said, I have never attended a bearer before. I will never had attend one too. I said this when I was a child and I stick to it. My mother burial will be, might be my first ever. To all my friends who think I'm shutting them out. My reason is I don't attend burials. If I let you attend my mom, I will hold you same favor. And I can't reply that. Sorry, and I can't repay that. If you love me, pray for me and my family. If you intend to support me, only pray for me. Don't send a dime or a consolation message. I don't do so well with that. But no, I appreciate you all a lot and I'm grateful. Check that. This is the best message that I've seen in this year, 2022. And it's coming from the person I'm not expecting to hear it from. And that is Tuntu Diki. For people here who carry barrier put for head. Well, she's not selfish. She doesn't attend barriers. And she doesn't want you to attend her mom's barrier. It's not as if she has problem with you. Because when you attend her mom's barrier, she will not be able to repay you. Because a day will come, you say, oh, I attended to take this mom's barrier. My mom died. She cannot even come. No attend her barrier. No send her money. Clear. Man, to take it. God will bless you for this one. I'm beginning to like you. I'm beginning to have this kind of uh, small like for you. Then uh, we saw a picture of a very young guy who is a pastor laying high hands on old men. And uh, of course, most of you are saying it's God sent, the praises and all the rest. I know some of you will also compare him to Jesus Christ. They say when Jesus Christ came, he was young and was performing miracles. People were, were like uh, overlooking him and all the rest. Well, this kind of uh, pictures have mixed reaction to it. That boy is a young boy, supposed to be in school, not laying hands on anybody or preaching the word of God anyway. Supposed to be in school, that's my own take, though. But you as well, you have your own, uh, the way that you might be seeing it might be clearly, very well, clearly different from the way I am seeing it. But I think that guy should be in school. And this person said, Asia children are developing in technology, we are slowing down here with religion blinding us. But like I've said before, it's a mixed reaction. If you want to agree with them, good and fine. But me, I do not agree with that boy preaching and laying hands on the on other people. So apart from that, guys, uh, we saw a, a video from TikTok. A lady allegedly showed off a mentally ill mother. If this video is real. I feel very sorry for her. Very sorry. And please, assist your mom. We know the country is hard, but find a way to assist your mom and put her in a care. But social media people, they lie. 
They lie a lot. That is one thing I, that is one thing again. They lie a lot. So sorry. It's very hard for me to believe this kind of uh, video. But if it's real, God is surely with you. And God will always see you through. But show, show me that people do the lie. Then, uh, say no to domestic violence in any form. Whether towards a man or towards a woman. Check out these pictures. Really upsetting. She said, so for a while now, and I've been bantly with myself about telling my story, but because I'm tired of living in fear, for the past years of my life, I have been in an abusive relationship. I've been beaten up and hospitalized on multiple occasions. I've been pissed to white to the point I had to get uh, staples in my head and Lord, I'm tired. I can't go home without looking over my shoulders. I can't drive without running red lights thinking I'm getting followed and I am tired of hiding to protect his image, trying to prove a point of loyalty. I have never went through anything like this in my life. So going back, accepting apology, being manipulated, controlled and simply just say, staying to plan my escape so that I am not killed. I am not doing this for attention because I know nobody on this social media can help me. This is more of awareness so that if I ever end up dead, the world knows my story. Well, <laughs> if he eats you once, huh? You know the kind of eating now, not like play eating. You know when a man eats you, you know the man actually mean it. Eat you correct eating. Move. Don't stay. Because if you tolerate that, it will beat you. If you tolerate that, it will beat you. You then will be trapped in that situation. You cannot go and you cannot come back. You will just be in the middle. So don't give yourself that kind of room to be trapped. Please. It's depressed. It's really, really depressing. So may God help her out. And that please, if the police can assist, she will definitely go and assist her immediately. Then now let's talk about Peace Square Peter Okoye, who decided to spoil himself, to spoil himself to, to a healthy Valentine gift. And so persons are seeing something wrong with that. So why are you trying to lecture him how to spend his money? So he went to high boss to you know, possess some little diamonds for himself. He said, earlier Valentine gift for myself, Mr. P. Someone said, hmm, millions of naira gone for just a chain or bracelet. After you will start quarreling government on how they spend their money, bro, I'm not sure you have any scholarship or ways of supporting. What is your business telling someone how he should spend his money? Now your money will not be your money. It's not a political person. It's not in the government office. It's his private money. Well, he responded, he said, I owe you nothing and nobody owe you anything. I play my part. You go play yours. Go get some sense. It's still new year. <laughs> then uh, another person uh, responded, he said, everybody has their way of making money and spending it shouldn't be anyone's business but mr p mr popita okoye you shouldn't have used an abusive language on a fan many look up to you as a role model what message has this has this preached to them so i need to and <laughs> then peter uh, responded said i need no fan like that period you come to my page to be telling me how i want to spend my money who be you are you are you okay now your money are you okay now your money then uh check out this man a white man who allegedly to have uh, gotten missing in nigeria well he said he recently first time coming to nigeria and because of the kind of uh, news that nigeria is not safe and all the rest he made a video clarifying that fact that nigeria is safe it's in a kitty state 
Welcome to Nigeria. As you can see, a lot of people don't think of Nigeria as the safest country, but that is not at all true. I am here in beautiful Ekiti State in the middle of the country at this amazing waterfall. I'm completely safe. I'm not dead. Like, everything has been fine about this trip. And even though Nigeria gets a bad name in international media and news, none of that's true. you got to come here and find, find out and see it for yourself. Well, Nigeria is safe. I'm not here to tarnish my country image, but we in Nigeria, we know exactly what's going on. Why don't you take a trip to Bruno State? Why don't you take a trip to Maduguri? Why don't you take a trip eh, to uh, to some part in Imo? Why don't you take a trip to Northern, to all the Northern State? Take a trip to there, to Benue and all the rest, to some deep community, take a trip. Take a road trip through uh, uh, Okene Road. Then I check this one out. It's coming from one of uh, President Muhammadu Bari's aide. Hamad, he said, Ladies and gentlemen, the Mohammed Buari Bridge MBB, a 1.9 kilometer bridge that will be a major connect uh, connection point between two economically vital regions in Nigeria. Then someone said, it is not Muhammad Obuari. And this guy said, it is not Muhammad Obuari's bridge. It can never be. It wasn't Buari who, initi who initiated the project. Neither did he use his salary to construct the bridge. The second Niger bridge or Southern Lake bridge. So, the uh, the head to President Muhammad Obuari responded, he said, so, can we call it Gulag Jonathan Bridge for sketching the bridge? The bridge is called Bridge of the Bari. Read the name again and let it sink in your head. The truth is that why do we continue to name our project after politicians? It's even better we name them after uh, uh, sportsmen who have made Nigeria proud, after musicians, movie stars. Uh, people have actually done things in Nigeria that naming it after politicians. You never used your money to build that thing. You never used your salary. I'm strongly against you guys. Hmm? Well, thank you guys for watching the boy the Adam's link. Catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.